Welcome to ASNU. Today we're looking at the installation and setup of the ASNU remote control software. If you've purchased the program or requested the 10 day trial, you'll receive an email like this. The program's available in eight languages and there's a section for each. Within the email, you'll find links to the sales brochure, the software installation guide, the installation program itself, licensing instructions, the user manual, and injector data instructions. You'll also find a couple of USB drivers for older laptops. To install the program, click on this link. This will open your browser and you'll find a download button. Mine says open because I've already got the file on my PC. When the download is finished, locate the file in your downloads folder and double click on it to run. Click yes and yes again. And we'll just wait for the extraction to complete. And the installation program to initialize. Okay, so the default destination folders should be okay for 99% of situations. Um, my laptop's got a very small C drive, so I'm just gonna install mine on my D drive and click next. And next again. So again, we'll just wait for the installation to complete. And when it completes, click next. Now the program should launch. If you don't already have a license when you launch the program, you'll get this dialog and you can click on try to try the program for up to 10 days. To obtain a license, you'll need to send your hardware, hardware ID to ASNU. So simply highlight the ID and click the copy button. Now create an email with um, a subject and paste in your hardware ID. Send the email to myself and I'll send you the license key. When you receive your license key from me, type in your email address and paste your license key, then click register. And you will see the dialog that says registration was successful. Click OK. And the program should launch. When you first launch the program, you'll see this warning dialog. This recommends you change the location of your result files so they don't get deleted if you uninstall this program. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. If we close the dialog, we can see the as new web page is displayed and we can select various other screens along the top here. Down the bottom, we have a message box and this will display error messages and status messages. These can be cleared by clicking on the OK button. In my case, the error is going to come right back because I don't have an as new machine connected at the moment. So let's go ahead and configure the program. I'll click on the config tab. And in the first section, I can change the user language. Uh, there are eight languages in total, including English. And I can change the workshop name. This information will appear in result files and on printouts. If you don't have an internet connection, you may want to disable the web browser. So if I go back to the web pad tab now, you'll see the web browser is no longer displayed. Before the program can communicate with the ASNU machine or the variable voltage power supply, we need to tell the program which USB ports we are using. Here we have my setup with the optional variable voltage power supply and the wires connected to the back of the machine. My laptop has only got one USB port, so I'm using a USB hub. 
to configure the ASNEW machine USB port, drop down the list and click refresh to make sure we have the latest information. Drop down the list again and this is showing that currently there are no devices connected. When we connect to the ASNEW machine USB cable, we'll be expecting a new device to appear here. Now I'm going to connect to the ASNEW machine USB cable. Now drop down the list again, click refresh. And now you can see COM9 has appeared in the list. Select that device. If you have the optional power supply, tick this box. Connect to the power supply USB cable. Drop the list down and click refresh again. And now we see we have another new COM port. For safety reasons, the ASNEW machine uses Flowrite fuel. Because Flowrite is slightly thicker than gasoline, the injectors will flow less. E5 to E10 gasoline will flow approximately 15% more than Flowrite. But this factor allows the program to display both Flowrite and gasoline results. The program also displays flow results in pounds per hour, and this is the conversion factor from Flowrite to gasoline. To change where your result files are saved to, simply click on this button and select a new folder. If you use, leave your USB cables connected to the same ports, you won't need to change these again. When you're happy with these settings, don't forget to save. Thanks again for watching.